at me now. I'm stressed out. <laughs> no. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we are doing a Christmas feast mukbang. Now we have desserts, we have salads, we have multiple types of potato, and we've got a Three whole times. chicken. <laughs> a whole chicken. Now we are going to dive in, tell you guys what we ordered. I'm going to introduce the girls. If you don't know them already, we've got Grace, we've got Liv, we've got Kath, and we've got me. I guess. Yo. Who is ready oh, to eat? I'm, I'm so, so ready. Excited. Yeah, let's. Can we just eat? We're gonna answer painful. some questions after we feast a little bit. We did a um, cooking stream last night on Kath's Twitch channel. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure I won. Yeah. Yes. Honestly, yeah, I'll I mean, give it to you. I, I, I did. I did the Christmas trees and the mini pavlovas. Um, if presentation. If we cared about looks <laughs> only, <laughs> we cared about looks only. Disgust. It's what's on the inside. Yes, yeah, so I'm very excited to eat that cheesecake. My lord. I am. All right, dig in, everyone. Let's eat some food. Yum. This is a mukbang. People want to see us devour this meal. And devour we will. Oh. Ugh. I'm overwhelmed, but I'm really excited. I've already I had lunch though, by some the way, people so. would mukbang and like, oh really? <laughs> I had some sushi after the gym. I yeah, I work out. <laughs> okay. Puts arm up, nothing there. Literal flex. <laughs> <laughs> Weird flex, okay, but quite literally a flex. Yum. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Four girls, 20 meals. <laughs> Two salads. I'm not good. I'm trying to do it one hand. Struggling a little bit. Yeah. Would you like some salad? That first rodeo. I've cut my fair share of chickens. Yeah, I don't know how to approach this either. Are you? You? I just went for a thicky bit of chicken. Do you want to bring it over? And That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Grace taking care Grace of me as point. always. Mum, help! Literally. Yeah. So much. <laughs> so is this your first mukbang, everyone? No, not yours, obviously. Um. Yes. Yes. This is yes. yes. It's not Ooh, first time eating there. Yeah. How do we mm. start the questions? So we asked you guys a bunch of questions across a couple platforms. Lennon actually ruined the one on Twitter. Completely He responded it. to mine on Instagram as well. Was it when Tenna going to pay rent? No, it wasn't. It was um, talk about laser beam, just oh as a general God. topic. So yeah. What if we don't talk about him this entire video? Let's, Let's not. never mention him again. Okay. Can we talk about, about how long you guys have known each other? Did somebody oh, yeah. ask that? We're I don't know. Answering well, the someone questions. asked. Someone asked that to me, but like mm. people know how we met. What? How? How I met the others? Yeah. yeah. I who? remember meeting you. Was it packed? So, it was packed, wasn't it? It was packed. Yeah, I met both and of you. Packed. Yeah. I met you as we were going into the hallway, like to go onto the stage. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And take me back. We sat. I don't know where Grace was. Grace was like coordinating everyone. So mm. we went and like sat down in like the seats at the front and we were all worrying that nobody was going to like come into the room. And then we were co yes. coordinating your yeet that you were going to say. <laughs> yeah, I do Did like to scream it? yeet. Yeah, at the Did end I'll, yeet? Yeah, I do. It's a deep <laughs> yeet. Like it's got to have that oomph to it, you know? I yeah. feel like please don't do that again. Why? <laughs> And then Pax, when did I, I met you at Pax as well. I think so. Probably yeah. after the panel. I think that's when I was drunk, probably. It probably, probably was. Yeah. <laughs> Typical tenor, always drunk. I don't think we've really <laughs> met so. You're, when you're not. <laughs> hey, that's because we all go out, in my defense. It's not yeah. like I'm just rocking up places really drunk and no one else is drinking. <laughs> oh, wow. 11 a.m. at Pax. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> How we all doing? Hey, guys. I'm I did actually say, can we all go get drinks pretty early on in the day. I'm just remembering you coming home from like on the way to the club from the other club <laughs> struggling so hard with your high heels and, and having a cry. cry is that when <laughs> Lennon, Lennon drunk, like, okay. helped you take off your shoes or something or helped yeah you and everyone was like oh my god Lennon is such a good brother such a gentleman <laughs> one of the questions that I got was coincidentally who drinks the, the most and if you're going out together who drinks the least oh oh good question I think it really varies what do you think Liv? I think it used to be that you were the responsible one but you have been but I've, you have been swiftly corrupted. I've been peer pressured. <laughs> she's had to. She's had to deal with us. <laughs> so she's had to resort to drinking. She start, makes starts sense. drinking because of that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, literally, that does make I sense think, that they make you drink. I, I think I drink a fair bit, like, casually but you've throughout got, the week, but I don't You've drink definitely started getting that more much. pissed. Definitely. <laughs> getting a in a very... Thanks, Tyler. Yeah. Hey, I'm all for it. Literally. <laughs> I'm not a bad influence on me. That's not bad. That's a, no. that's a great influence. <laughs> I'm actually super happy about that. You Have you ever been pissed, Kat? Like, I've, yeah. like, like really? Like, yeah. Hell I don't remember the name. Okay, yeah. so now I know that this is perfect. Yeah. I can... I can make this happen. I've never been blackout, but like, I'm not a casual drinker. Like, if we if we're going out, we're going out. Yeah. You used to be like, no, no, no. I think the distinction would be you would say that you're not going to drink unless you're getting drunk. Yeah. Whereas yeah. I like would happily have a glass of wine at the end. Of yeah. The whereas oh, I would like go out like for dinner with friends and have like side one cider and drive yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. 
how to have a cocktail with dinner or like a wine with dinner but so I'm, now i'm not gonna drink like three or four drinks casually go a cocktail. what do you like drinking cat yeah um, what's your favorite alcohol either like vodka shot or vodka oh. with diet coke or something like that mm -hmm. i love that i'm a vodka girl, shot girl. didn't you I see love her that. at the end of the click party with the big bottle mm -hmm. i can't do vodka shots but i can do um tequila, tequila shots yeah. yeah did you do those tequila ones the other night so they were so nice mm. they were so so nice they were good one night, let's all go out and all get blackout drunk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sounds exhausting. Please? Please? Uh, oh, I'm not as young as you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, same. Anymore. I'm like, I'm yeah. too old for this. What do you guys reckon you're like drunk? I'm all over the place. Floppy. Emotional. Tana's like ready to party at the start. And then towards the end, she gets like a bit emotional. Oh, hell yeah. That's Tana's usual way. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it sticks goes... I'm a lover. I think Ooh. if I have a few drinks, I just like tell people how much I love them. Yeah. And care about I think them. I do that to an extent. Tanner and I went out for a few drinks a couple weeks ago and like I reflected on my text messages in the morning and it was just Tanner and I being like, sad I love you so sad much. <laughs> like, you mean so much to me. I hope you know that. <laughs> What do you like, Kat? Because I don't like, I mean, I notice that you're having a good time and you get a little bit more risk takey. Yeah, See, I'm always too drunk to notice. Oh, really? But like, other than that, I don't notice like heaps out of you. Yeah, I'm not particularly emotional. I'm just yeah, no. fun and happy. That's yeah, you get really fun and happy and like, let's do this, let's do that. Yeah, that is a very good type of drunk. Mm. Hashtag you're the goals. ideal drunk. Yeah. And Liv, tell us about yourself being drunk. Here. Huh? Yeah, Liv. <laughs> yeah, Liv. actually, yeah. Why are you deflecting? <laughs> Who? Who's Liv? I have no idea who this person is. I haven't met her. Yeah. What are you suggesting? I'm like. Yeah, I actually. I mean, I feel like I'm always way too drunk to notice you what anyone feisty. else is like. Oh yeah, we had this conversation feisty. last night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feisty drunk. <laughs> I haven't witnessed this though. Mm. <laughs> Not drunk. You're all right. All right. What are some other questions? Has everyone subscribed to PewDiePie? I have watched almost all of PewDiePie's videos. Really? Since oh, wow. 2013. Wow. Really? Wow. Big fan. Big fan. I do enjoy the PewDiePie. I dropped off. I enjoy like him now, 15. but I probably only just started watching him recently. But you, are you yes. subscribed? Are you doing your? <laughs> are you doing your part? Multiple accounts. <laughs> Starting up new Gmail addresses. <laughs> Just to subscribe. Honestly, I'm sure a lot of people out there are doing that. I think so. Are you a dog or a cat person? Tan is a dog person, and I'm, I'm afraid person. to say anything other than dog. <laughs> yeah. No, no judgment here. <clears throat> Live your dog. Yeah. Have you, do you have a cat? Have you well, had I've a cat? Never, I've never had a pet, so oh, I don't really you don't know what know. I am. Okay. To be honest with you. Get a dog. No, I'm <laughs> they just seem like a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work to train them. Oh my so god. They're... A lot of work? She's already got Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she already got deal with that. <laughs> she already lives in a house full of boys. <laughs> That's enough. She's got enough on her plate. That, that is quite training, literally. Though. I could probably it own a dog training. after living here. Oh my here. god, you're going to be the best <laughs> mum after living in the click house. Can I suck your toes? My personal preference is no. Yeah. I did I show, yeah, I got an email the other day from someone being like, send me can I pics. pay you money to send photos of your feet? And I was like, absolutely not. Unless it's Unless for a thousand dollars, in which for case, the right price. we can talk about it. <laughs> for the right price, I'll yes, I'll give you I everyone in clicks for 10. <laughs> so many inappropriate ones. Your oh. favorite place to visit. Yeah, what's your favorite place to visit and would you like to live there? Mm. Greece. I would live in Greece. You'd live That's in really Greece. really nice. Oh my God, You'd yes. live there? I would live in Greece, 100%. As like a... What's the internet like in Greece? I don't know if it's that. I don't think too well. I don't yeah. think the economy is doing that well. No, it's not. It's not at all. But I've been there and been like, I not like live in the sense of work and live. Probably just mm -hmm. like be heaps rich and just like live there for a year and not have to yeah. do anything. I'd love to go to Italy. I mean, I've been I've been to Italy a couple times, but... Um, flex, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd love to go and spend like a couple months there. I'd love to go there for a summer. See, Greek salad. I'm all about all about the Greek people. Mm -hmm. Okay, like one of the most beautiful places I've ever been is like Santorini. That was amazing. Mm. But I want to go to Greece so bad. There's something about Paris. Have you not been? Mm -mm. Let's go. <laughs> I kind of want to go. But yeah, Paris is very me. I love like I love Paris art and stuff me. like that. It's a very unsafe place at the moment. It is. But Liv, you've been talking a lot about Paris the last couple days. Um, Are you wanting to go? Alien. <laughs> <laughs> Holiday to <coughs> Paris. Paris. <coughs> no, but it's a favorite of mine. I've yeah. been, and I just like that there's Disneyland there. Yeah, I like there's watching arty that. stuff there. I only went for a day because I went with Kentucky, so I don't think I got to see it <laughs> yeah. in its full. And I think I was extremely hungover, so mm -hmm. that was also. I went as a kid, it. so I feel like I didn't yeah. appreciate it. I went to Vegas when I was a kid, so I don't, definitely did not appreciate <laughs> it then. I will be going back. I will go back. What about you, Kath? Either somewhere in Europe or somewhere in Asia. I haven't traveled enough of Asia to really say, mm. I guess. Yeah, Europe. 
kind of Germany, so we're in Yeah, that'd be cool. Germany. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. I mean, like, you get close to everything. Switzerland was great. Yeah. Oh, Switzerland, Switzerland was beautiful. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe there. I saw a lot of it in a very short time. Doing Kentucky? Yeah. Yeah. And then I went back and did like three, uh, two weeks in Greece and then a week in Amsterdam. It was fun. Yeah. I did Kentucky of America. I want to do Europe. Oh, nice. Year. But you're not. Oh. <laughs> you do a Kentucky that you can't drink on? God damn. Oh, yeah. I never went into any clubs in America. I obeyed the law. <laughs> the internet's not going to tell me. <laughs> they come knock on your door. You're getting arrested for going out. I love New York. I would 100% oh live my in God. New York. Yes. I, would, I used to want to live in New Maybe. York. Maybe. Legit so good. I'm not even like full so yet, but I'm like, nah. I know that there's I want to reach back for chicken. <laughs> have some I'm more, pacing myself. Have some more chicken. Thanks, Tom. I shall place chicken here. Yeah. <laughs> You've done good. Do you get so many awful comments. Oh. On the I honestly do. You get real bad stuff. You get just like really consistent, not legitimate questions. How your tits looking so nice? Send me nudes. Um, yes. Yes. Let's let's base if around something. If ever asks for nudes, <laughs> you're never going to get them. That's why. Oh my god. Never. Does that ever work for you? So I'm gonna say it's not going. But to like sliding in the into somebody who you don't know, who may be an influencer. <laughs> into their DMs thinking that that's going to work in like the most inappropriate Why way. Why don't you ask them how their day was first? Oh yeah, no, it's, it's, <laughs> like, it's literally all part of it. You're a female on the internet, like it's going to be. It's not even like being a female, it's being a male too. It's that Do the boys cop the, that kind, those cops, kind? Yeah. Oh really? Um, yeah. Yeah. Like Baz in particular, I think cops a lot of um, that mm. sort of love. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. So mm. it's not I wasn't like, sure it was so intense. Fine. Yeah, yeah, it was. It is actually maybe even more intense. Um, so what, no, Tana, what? what would be the way for someone oh, yeah. to slide into your DMs that would work? Don't, I can't be bothered. <laughs> What if someone really thinks that like you're yeah, gonna get along? I don't know. I think start casual. Yeah, I, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, Tana's a bit scared of commitment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that's just me, I guess. People would want to know like what's a productive mm. way if they wanted to to like Meet message me. a girl. Oh, message a girl in general, yeah. or like mm. an influencer. Yeah, message a girl. Like <laughs> like a few of their pics or something mm. before you like. I like go off true. like a story or something. So you'd be like, if somebody is like storing something, you'd be like. Oh, like yeah. I've been there or done that, or like, oh, how did you find that or something? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like, like start a conversation do, off something with. that they've done. Yeah. So it's not like all not just writing like, hey. Like I'm hey. not gonna write back to just yeah. hey. Yeah. No. No. But if it's somebody who's got followers, they're not gonna get that because it goes into message requests. I always drunk message. I love it. I would be very interested to know whose DMs you've snuck into. More people from home when I'm drunk. I definitely. Mm -hmm. Like people you had a crush on in school or like somebody like. Oh yeah, like I'm all for like. Being open about that, especially when I'm drunk. Have you guys ever been very clear. knocked back and had the awkward like? Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! So awkward. I in what way? You've slid into someone's DMs or like tried to like talk, talk to, to them, somebody. and they've it's just been so like I'm not interested or just oh. like yeah. I liked I liked this guy from home. So awkward. I liked this guy from home. He was like he was a really good looking guy, like big muscly. Mm. I was just I just kept trying and trying, and then he's just like <laughs> he said to my other big and muscly. <laughs> He was just like said to another friend and was just like, oh, yeah, like she's really pretty, but like, no. Nah. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> it was very heartbreaking. <laughs> I had one happen where I thought somebody was like, they would be flattered for like me to message them. Ooh. And they, and oh. they weren't interested. Whoa. And I was like, like, I was doing this being like, oh, you know, like not my usual type or anything, but like, I'll like, give it a I, crack. Like, I, I like him. Like, I'll give it a crack. I'll like see, I'll see if he's like, like he'll probably be flattered. And he was just like, not going to happen. So yeah. That, yeah, you like, gotta go in with all oh, expectations nah, for haha. sure. And I was like, oh my god, that's the most embarrassing. Nice. It's such a kick to the ego. I was like, wow. What about you, Calf? Have you ever been knocked back? Yeah. Rejected? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think I've ever really put myself out there. Yeah. I don't think I'd, I think I'd be too nervous to like fully put myself out there. Enough to be rejected. Enough mm. to, yeah. No, fair play, fair play. I think it's definitely a thing as you get older, I've noticed. Like, I noticed when I was younger, you know, if I liked a boy and then like maybe I thought he didn't like me back or or something like that, you know, you'd take it as like a personal oh, thing yeah. and you'd be like, oh gosh, like what do I need to do to change mm -hmm. so that he would like me or like yeah. the kind of girls he does like, like what could I do to be more like them, blah, blah, yeah. blah. I think that's like a really, definitely something that hits you in your teens. Mm. Um, yeah, you definitely do now, think it's against you as a person. 
Yeah, totally. Or you think like, what can I do to like have them like me more or something like that. I keep eating. Whereas now it's like, you know, if someone doesn't like you, then it's just clearly like they're not your person. Mm. Yeah. You know? Mm. And that just comes with mature thoughts and what was your first kiss like? Oh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Come on, no one's first kiss was good. If it was, you're lying or nostalgia's affecting you. No, <laughs> so you think about it, Grace, and it was not good for you, was it? <laughs> no, I was just so it just like I haven't thought about that for a long I time. I actually <laughs> Yeah. Are they races? <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I just remember being, very well. I just remember yeah, being yeah, super nervous like about like obviously overthinking what you yeah. were doing. I had braces when mm. I had my first kiss. I did. Yeah. yeah. It was really rough, guys. How old were you? Fifteen. I was pretty old. I had like uh, a normal like a kiss kiss at like fourteen, and then like a proper kiss at like seventeen. Like I did not want to get with anyone at a party until I like liked them, and yeah. I and I don't like people. That's, <laughs> See, good, yeah, that's I, a good way to be. That's a good way. To yeah, be. I think I, yeah, I was fifteen when I had my first kiss, but as soon as I started like drinking, <laughs> that list started getting. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I've overly said I'd probably kiss anyone. I really don't care. Really? Like I don't really have a like it's just a kiss. Like I don't see it as like mm. I don't know. I think obviously sex is a lot different. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean a kiss is a kiss. Like I don't know. What about you, Kathy? Your first kiss, how was it? Oh, Tell had, us everything. He had braces since I was seventeen. No, he, I think it was a it was okay, but it's, it's just hard. No. You I know, feel like you it's know just like you're kiss. while you're doing it you're like, Oh my god, what the f am I doing? Yeah, yeah. you don't know what you're doing. Mm. You're yeah, like too much tongue, tongue, tongue no tongue, lip, yeah, lip. what? Huh? It's all a bit of a disaster, I guess. Really. I think when it's your phone, like everyone, like who cares? Like, yeah, it's a kiss. I was seventeen, and I was so worried that like basically every other person in my year had kissed someone. There was only like three girls or something in my mm. immediate group of like thirty girls who had only kissed someone. And Isn't that such a high 17? school thing as well? Yeah. To like know exactly who's kissed who yeah. and like how many people they've kissed. I knew that this guy had kissed like quite a good amount of girls. So he knows what a good kisser is. I was is. like, he knows what a good kisser is, and I was like, oh my god, he's like gonna know that like I haven't kissed someone. And then afterwards, he was like, that was so good. And I was like, oh. could you tell it was my first kiss? And he was like, oh, yeah, I was just saying that to be nice. And I was like, oh. it went from like, yes, to like, oh. oh I, and I feel like, but <laughs> at least you found out though, you yeah. know? <laughs> Personal opinion with kissing too. I think it depends on the two people kissing. Yeah. Like, you can be a really bad kisser and yeah, what, every person you kiss might not like it. But I feel like two people totally got work to together. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. even if I might think this one person's a bad kisser, might work really well with somebody else. What was you the think question? having your partner with you here, living with them, helps so that he's kind of like a buffer there's of no it all? Way, or? There's, there's no way a single female should live with so many guys in this sort of yeah. circumstance working together and that. It yeah. just wouldn't work. Something would get messy. There's some <laughs> very... <laughs> I'm just gonna say, there's some very horny men in here, I've heard. <laughs> I'm just gonna You've say heard? <laughs> well, oh my god, I don't even want to know. I don't even no, want to no, know. no, no, I mean, like the way they talk about it. Oh, yeah, someone yeah, yeah. in particular is looking, it's a lot, I guess. And, um, whoa, I guess if you if there click was a house female exposed. there, yeah, it'd be spill the tea. Yeah, yeah no, 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 yeah. I totally get it. Oh, Sorry, I'm I'm it. What's it like to get your period in a house full of boys? Well, as long as we're all scheduled on the same time, me and the boys, they get their man periods. And, you know. <laughs> Seriously, though. Are you super comfortable around them all? Like, are you like, like you chill about shit like, like that? that? I think so. Yeah, not so much. Actually, yeah, I think they're mostly no. They're... Mm -hmm. I feel like they're all guys who've lived with ladies before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or been surrounded by ladies. So and I feel like they're cheap. mature too. It's yeah. like I feel like when when people are younger, they're like, oh my god, it's a period. It's like mm. it's yeah. just a part of the. Like life. our life, like literally, yeah. it's part of it. If you can't accept that, then mm. you're a child. Yeah, you're yeah, like, you're a child. child. <laughs> One time, um, Marcus was like pranking uh, Cray and putting like tampons in Cray's a grocery yeah. bag because he didn't have his wallet uh, on him. <laughs> and Cray thought it was for me, and he was just like, okay. <laughs> he just did it all he quietly was like, and stuff. Oh yeah, because that was, he was like, like I'll, just, um, I'll just pay for him. He's like, I don't want to make a big deal of it. So. <laughs> and then he was oh just gonna God. like pass it to his leader. It's like, it, and then yeah, I remember so Marcus cute. was like, I did that as a prank. And he was like, Oh, I thought they were for cat. So, really? I would say they're all like, yeah, they're, they're all quite protective over. Or I don't know, like even though it's. Obviously a tough environment at times, living with so many boys, like, they all clearly care about Kath a lot and, yeah. you yeah, know, so. want to and make they, sure that she's good. Even Lennon, although he does not live in the house. Oh, 100 Well, yeah. I Lennon calls care me about scary. About <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I think it comes nah, from a place of love. <laughs> no, 100%. No, it was like when that, that Reddit thing happened and he was yeah. just like, I am going to.
wrote to someone. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. It's all, it's all good. Like, That's he's true. like, no one talks shit about Kath. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, that came out of nowhere. I was like, oh, okay. He, he was like raging about it too. Yeah. Like, it wasn't just like on Twitter that he was when angry about it. When I saw him that day, he was really, He, he really came out to me, he's like, he's like, I'm so angry. Like, no, I will not accept this. I don't care, blah, blah, blah. And I was yeah. like, yes. <laughs> I mean, I totally agreed with him. He was like, it's just not true. It's just not true. <laughs> I was like, oh. Damn, we, we spoke about him. God damn. He got his attention. <laughs> You don't just say that, that out, cut that out. <laughs> I did cut that out. Oh, wait, I'm editing it. Damn. He's like that, though. Like, when that guy was, like, doing some rather explicit things to me in the street. Yeah, he was like, Lennon, I'll murder I, him. Yeah, I told Lan and he was like, when did you do that? And I was like, oh, just before. He was like, oh, it should have told me because I would have, oh, I don't, oh, I don't know what I would have done, but I would have gone up and said something. <laughs> See, he says that, and I wonder where he actually would have. You know yeah. what I mean? He'd be like, Marcus, help. Help me. Help. <laughs> Imagine that group of gamers all being like trying to fight these people. <laughs> I mean, I think if there was like a, a man attacking mm -hmm. one of us, I think all of yeah. them would jump to Oh, no, 100%, yeah. yeah. But if you had to do any other style of videos, yeah. what would you do? Probably, yeah, sit down talking ones. I've wanted to do like a podcast for a while mm -hmm. and have like different guests and stuff. And like, yeah, I, I just want to ask yeah. questions and that stuff. And yeah. learn more about people because I'm not very good at elaborating on it. I'm not good at telling stories. I'm trying, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But uh, <laughs> I'd like to get that. Even like this style, yeah. to like run that sort of thing, I think it's really cool. Yeah, no, it's like, I like the same kind of thing. It's like fl having that flowing conversation with somebody else and talking about experiences and life and things that you wouldn't get from what, what I don't get from like reacting to things or say playing Fortnite or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, yeah, interaction in person together with a lot of food. <laughs> what would you guys be labelled in high school slash like what type of person? Oh my god, would you? that's awful. I know. <laughs> Why? I hate labels. I don't know. It's 2018, we no. don't label things anymore. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hard. What would you have been? Queen. No. Um, <laughs> queen. Uh, no. Probably just, wow. Regina George. <laughs> average. Literally average. Huge dork, I'd say. Oh, yeah, dork. I was. Just, I think I was funny. I think I was more funny than anything. I don't know. I was. Um, Can I move on to the desserts, or is this like yeah. frowned upon? I went through a couple different phases. I think when I was a little bit younger, when I was in like year ten and eleven, Struggle I went then. through a little bit of a naughty phase. Ooh. Um, We've made a mess, ladies. What do you mean naughty phase? <laughs> I was just a bit of a. I just went through like a, a little rebel. bit of a rule breaking phase. Phase. Rule breaking. Boy kissing Intermission. Inter Ooh. What, at school? Is that what we're talking about? Not like literally between the hours of nine and three, <laughs> but like... <laughs> I mean, you never know. I don't know. I Average. Honestly, that sounds bad, but just kind of... Average. Average. <laughs> I was friends with everyone, friends with no one. Like, I didn't fit in anywhere, but nobody particularly like Thanks, disliked guys. me or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. If I fit it's in anywhere, totally I like felt most comfortable around like arty, yeah, like music. Well, yeah, drama, I was gonna say you like would be around kids. music for sure. Mm. They were nerdy and like geeky. <clears throat> I feel like Grace was popular, and she had a good group of girlfriends around her. They ruled the school together. Am I correct? <laughs> um, I wouldn't I say I was like the. I wouldn't say I was like super popular. I would say <laughs> no. I would no. I would. I had a really good group of friends. Really Year twelve, struggling. I was like ah. You good, bro? Ah. Hit me foot. Oh. <laughs> me foot, sorry. It really fucking hurt. But yeah, no, year 12, I was like a big studier. I did, mm. I like really wanted to study in year 12 and do well. Same. Um, so <laughs> I, was, I was pretty nerdy in year 12, but I really liked it. Like, it's like what we were saying last night. I actually loved studying. Like, I loved the process of working towards something and then seeing the results from it. Do I just eat it all in one bite? Yeah, yeah, my do girl. It. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't do it. Just get it in there. It's a commitment. Can't go oh, wrong. Can't go wrong. Right, I'm gonna do it too. Same I'm not one. Put the whole Strawberry cream. Can't go wrong. I want to kind of try one of the trees. I really want to try one of the mm -hmm. trees. Melted marshmallow with rice. Every was like crispy. almost is that all what they of my stuff is like boys, boys, guys, love life, love life. Um, non-existent. How's your love life, Tana? <laughs> it's been a while. How's your love life, Grace? Yeah, Grace, how's your love life? You want to ask questions? You want to ask me questions? <laughs> you want to say how's? No, it's your channel. People, people know I'm not dating you. anyone. I got, I got nothing happening. I'm focusing on creating good content for you guys. Mm -hmm. You're my boyfriend. You guys. like primary school. <laughs> it's not bad. The LCMs one. Mm. Yum! I used to love LCMs. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that takes me back. I never was allowed them in my lunchbox. This is what it tastes like. <laughs> Well, here's your magic <laughs> Tana delivers. Well, pineapple, I surely not going to be. Pineapple belong on pizza. Yep. Hell yeah. If you wanted to, 
And I love pineapple on pizza. Yeah, is that an Australian thing for her to have I think pineapple it is, on pizza? Because yeah. we put pineapple on burgers. Hawaiian, as well. I'm very Hawaiian. good about it. No, Hawaiian. It's called a Hawaiian pizza. I don't know if that means it comes from Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii and they have pineapple on everything. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Does Hawaiian pizza come from Hawaii? <laughs> this is the question of the day. Should I Google it? Or should we let the people tell us? Maybe they just coined it Hawaiian because pineapples are like from Hawaii. What would your guys' roles be in each other's weddings? Ooh. I'd be everyone's photographer. <laughs> no, I feel like you'd be a really funny... No, you'd be like a best man because you'd give a funny speech. Yeah. I feel like... A best man. <laughs> yeah. I think they have a word for that. <laughs> Like, why would I be the man? <laughs> I just think that's no, really funny. No, no, you mean. Um, I wear a tuxedo. Kat would be the celebrant. She would like marry people. What? I think you'd be really good at the that. What? Yeah. I think that would be funny. I can Liz's see obviously going to sing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Liz oh yeah. I've sing. got talent. <laughs> oh yeah. I do that. Or she could be a ring bearer, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to be the one that throws the flowers like, tsh, tsh, like down the aisle. Like, oh yeah. Come. Okay. Yeah. You want to be a flower girl? <laughs> <laughs> there is a word for that. <laughs> this really does taste like an LCM. Yeah, that's why I can't stop well, eating it. That's why you won't allow them, because that is very unhealthy. <laughs> that's just marshmallow. When you were at school, what kind of lunches would you get? Would you Were you one of the kids that got like really good lunches? Like roll-ups and LCMs? I got 10 bucks, mm. go to the canteen. Really? That's the dream. I had lazy parents. Do I got want. like a ham, cheese, lettuce sandwich and mm -hmm. two pieces of fruit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was so jealous of mm -hmm. people that I used to go, lunch. I go, well, I was... I was fat in high school, so it kind of did not help. I should have been getting healthy lunches. I feel like it was a lot cheaper so than normal. so cheap. Oh my gosh. This is what I used to have for recess every day. Three chicken wedges, a finger bun, and a dare oh. mocha iced coffee. That's I was so fucking I, bad. I, I, Why so, were they giving that to children? I don't know. They sold dare like in, in my high school. I was at private school Yeah, they too. sold iced coffee at mine as well. Really? My, my canteen at a public school that I went to after a private was healthier than... The Catholic mm. one. See, I was chubby in primary school. <laughs> I was like, where did we put them? What? Thank you so much. So in much. primary school, I used to pretend that I'd lost my coins on the oval. I'd be like, oh, I'll drop them. I don't Says know. Says it every are. day. Yeah, and it was to the point that the ladies in the office would laugh because some chubby kid would come in every day and be like, I lost my two dollar coin. I can't and then I'd go and get chicken goo chubby. <laughs> <laughs> what, sorry? Chicken goujons. What is it? What is that? It's like, it's like little, like, it's like the worst than a chicken nugget. You know, like, just like the shit chicken. Gosh. And I'd like lie every day and be like, oh, I lost my money. And they'd like giggle to themselves and like give me $2 because they were like, haha, look at this little fat kid like wanting to eat chicken. Liv, I'm sure that's not what happened. <laughs> no, they How didn't. How fat were you? I want to compare. I knew it. They knew it. <laughs> we both knew that I was lying to get chicken. Now this last night was like a little bit too warm. Okay, <laughs> what other questions can we talk about? Um, set the record straight, ma'am. Tell the people. Do you want to say it straight? All right, listen up, everyone. We've got something to say. There's been this rumor going around that there is something going on with Grace and my brother Lennon. I just want to let you guys know. It's so true. It's so <laughs> no. <laughs> Tana. No, it's not true at all. Like, literally, come on. But Lennon's great, but it's, no. It's a no. It's a, it's a big old no. Um, Grannon. It's not happening. Grannon is not happening. The someone said, me. which of the boys in the house has the biggest ego? <laughs> Including Lennon? Does that include Lennon? I don't think it's like the easiest question in the world. It I think it's difficult. Oh, okay. uh, ego, ego. Mm. No, I'd have to say Elliot. But there is a different question, which would be who thinks they're the alpha? Because that one's a bit, everyone kind of thinks that they're the alpha in a way the guys do. Yeah. And it's really strange to see that power struggle between the guys. In what way? Um, I just think <clears throat> certain people <laughs> think, because <laughs> I personally think that as, as far as males goes there's there's like two key alpha males in the house mm. there's one that thinks he's alpha and then the one that definitely doesn't think he's alpha and that's all i'm gonna say you figure out who, who's who good luck with that good luck oh mm. i want to know later i'm like <laughs> what would you say strengths and weaknesses in ourselves i always have to try and overcome my perfectionism i'm so glad i'm not a perfectionist <laughs> i have yeah. so, what a struggle that must be yeah like perfectionism stops me from like it makes me be a procrastinator it makes me never believe that anything that i do is kind of good, good enough. enough yeah <laughs> and like it makes me like anxious but i feel like recognizing that is a very important part yeah as well. yeah like at least as you well. can recognize it rather than just being like yeah i'm um, working on that i'm, well, a, I'm good well, emotionally though that's a working on ourselves what about you Kat? uh strength is determined and consistency i get oh yeah yeah every day i'm doing something which is which is cool. I 100% um, agree. Yeah. yeah. You're consistent. Yeah. Mm. Um, uh, weakness to uh, emotional sometimes, I'd say. 
and I let things affect me a little bit too much. And also I'm not too well at reading other people and how they feel and how they react to things. Uh, I'd say that, yeah. <laughs> my brain doesn't pretty... work, that's my weakness. <laughs> I'm pretty driven and like action oriented, like I love working on stuff. Um, but then a weakness would be I think I can get stressed sometimes if there's a plan and then things don't go to plan. Yeah. Stress oh, really? me out a bit. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 that will like throw me a little bit and then I'll be like, ah, ah nothing's mm. working. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so just, yeah, adds to... Yeah. Which happens yeah. a lot with up. like click stuff and then we have to... Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. this industry. It's been it's something that's been. like been a forced thing to work on. Yeah. Obviously things just happen and it's difficult to coordinate more people yeah. than it was six months ago. Mm. Next year's going to be good. I have a feeling 2019 is going to be one of the best years feeling, for all of us. I'm excited. It's going to be... Yeah. I think I don't know if you guys have seen that Billie Eilish interview where she does yes. like, and you can see the ba massive difference and like you can see oh, it's unfortunate gosh. in her sense because she looks dead inside now, but it was, sad. it was very sad. But I made a video like probably like two weeks, oh it was two days before my birthday, so the 27th of November. I made a video of me like answering similar questions of like where I think my channel is going to be. Oh my so you god, can do it what I think. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do it. That's yeah, such a good idea. Do it, do it. No, do oh it. Oh my gosh, you should, well, I just you thought should do it. it like, the end that's why I thought it was like a good idea because like obviously I'm at the start of something that's that really could cool. ha could have the potential to be so incredible and it's like it's going to be very interesting to see like I never thought I'd be obviously at 200, almost 250,000 subs already because of the giveaway. Bless Lennon. <laughs> but like I, my goal for the end of the year was 100k. I'm super stoked that obviously I've doubled that thanks to the Yay. V Bucks, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, Still. But yeah, so it's like it's going to be interesting to see like where where I think my channel will be in a year, but also where it actually ends up. Like I saw in your thing because where were you at the start of the year? Like on YouTube, like I don't know, 300,000. Yeah, because I saw on your Twitch thing that you were mm -hmm. like goal by the end of the year 500k. Yeah. It's like if you hit hit a million, like yeah, that's, that's just insane. insane. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that kind of like you've set a goal and completely demolished it. Like I love like, setting goals though. Setting yeah. goals is the best thing. See, I think yeah, that's where I'm at now. It's like how many Instagram followers will I have? How many subs will I have? Yeah. Will I be financially stable will I be doing it like you know what I mean like all of those things it's just kind of something to work towards and I think even place. making videos about it making it public is actually kind of cool so mm -hmm. true. That. and I've forgotten about mine but someone messaged Marcus being like he's uh, her video at the beginning of this year she accomplished so much of it and she should react to it yeah. which I haven't seen I haven't done it yet but um, oh gosh I should. can't remember what I said but yeah you it's really that should. sort of thing. and that's what it is we yeah. don't remember what we film I wrote Did I down say that? I wrote down a bunch of goals at the start of this year and um because you were still working at the firm at the start of this year weren't yeah, you? yeah I was doing part-time both mm. um it's really nice to reflect now and, and even like, to like look wow, back and be like I could have worked on this I could have changed that like this year is going really fast this year's been insane yeah. it's been insane for like the last everyone I the think. last yeah the last six months for me have been the first one that great well <laughs> the next year's here job. to come the next yeah. year's coming yeah we got the girls together we've got, we've yeah. got ideas we've got plans that's what I mean plans, I, think, I think all of us have yeah, yeah I think and I think the more well, yeah. the more women that you know join this little group we've got is beautiful yeah. it's good mm -hmm. yeah I love what, it. like do you pr do you like having more girls yeah. around the house mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's really essential yeah so Grace can I ask you mm -hmm. uh, after like what you, five years of studying law you said um and now just to give that up to focus on click because yeah. you know we need more people we needed grace <laughs> so she gave, you gave it up grace. this year for that yeah. did you have like uh, any sort doubts? of doubts doubts no I, I didn't have any doubts like to study that long and then be like i'm not going to use it no like well you would use it but like i actually use it way more than what people might think i do but but no because because i guess like for people that don't know i studied commerce law which took five and a half years so, so pretty intense um gingerbread high school and like i worked throughout that time a bit as well but then i started a grad job at a big firm um and i did that for a year before we started click and then and then I was doing click part-time or on the side and then I was doing my other job full-time still and I did that for about six months then I took three months off my job and did click full-time for that three months and then I was like okay it's gonna be difficult to go back so then I just went I like really cut down and was doing part-time part-time and then about six months ago now I fully quit that job and went 100% into click which I basically already was yeah Best thing <laughs> so, you ever did. Sorry. I was just really confident when I made that decision because I knew I knew I was doing the right thing which yeah. is good. Yeah. Are you glad you did journalism? Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. I you enjoyed so it a lot. Yeah, I learned yeah. so much at doing it. And yeah, as much as I would like other courses too, like I'm just glad I did a course and learned something that was like, well, yeah, I, th I thought it was practical because it helped me. Yeah. I mean, I like much prefer what I do now, but yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's not 
it's not bad like even I don't know I think even doing like a marketing marketing degree or business degree or something like that I think that could be interesting <laughs> mm. I mean, I don't care. I'm a very open person. I don't mind talking about anything. Well, you can go for it. If yeah, you I kind of want to know. I mean, I'll say it. I don't give a shit. I was 16 with a boyfriend that I loved very, very much. So I was 17 and had the basically the same experience. Oh, nice. Look at us. What about you? She's like, hell no. I don't kiss and tell. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Waiting for marriage. Two markers. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked me when when's Kat gonna get married. I would love that. Click wedding. Click wedding. Everyone's roles could become true. Yeah. Liv would be there, flower girl. <laughs> Pedals down the aisle. I would. <laughs> if you didn't let me do it now, I'd be a little bit. Just... No, that was that was like one of the, the comments. It was like, do you and Elliot have sex? I... Was that no, real? no, <laughs> never. No, no, no. no. Good. no. Oh god, stay well, away from him. I would never do that. Did you live with Marcus in Melbourne? Yeah. Yeah, you did? Yeah, we lived for a year together now. Oh nice. I can't imagine this. living with somebody. Like literally, like a partner. I guess it's mm. like, well I've only had literally the boyfriend I had at 16 is the only one I've ever had. So I can't really picture being in a relationship in general. So mm. let alone living with them. I couldn't picture myself in a relationship. I was exactly like you mm. up until me and Ellie. I'm just three years older than you. <laughs> it's like, mm. <laughs> time's running out, Tanner. Quick. Why not? Why do you think that is? Like, why couldn't you picture yourself being in a relationship? I didn't trust people. I didn't like, I don't want to give any of my time to another person. I have been set a very high standard with my father. Yeah. So I just can't see that happen, yeah. happening anytime soon. You I know feel like I mean? you're kind of cynical as well. Cynical. What does that mean? Like you... Explain, Grace. Tell me how. Like, I think you think if you got in a relationship, it means that you wouldn't be able to do your job properly or you'd get distracted. I would get or, distracted, 100%. Um, I get or distracted you'd by your like. Friends or like. I get distracted by be, going out on the weekend. You suddenly need to like care about someone all yeah. the time. I'm lazy. That's what it is. I'm lazy. <laughs> no, I think it's just like, I feel like something like that would consume me because I'm like, I don't know whether this would be You're one a of my strengths. Person. Yeah, my strength or my weakness, like, probably both that I care about everything very deeply, whether it be how happy I am or how sad I am, how I feel about my friends and my family and how I live my life is just, yeah, very passionate about, you know, feelings, I guess. So when it comes to like, I mean, I'm a super anxious person. So it's like with Willie, like, my biggest fear is just like something happening oh to him. Oh my god, she's that I think so about anxious all about the time. Willy, guys. <laughs> like literally, I, I have a camera at home, but sits and watches him when I'm not there, so. We'll go out for dinner or, or like anywhere and she'll check her app to that's make because, sure that Willie's okay. And that's because I've let something in that I love so much. So maybe I am sitting there. Well. <laughs> oh, dad, well, scratching what? of cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I'm like looking down like, well, we've learned something about tenor today, haven't we? <laughs> We'll see what happens with the right hinge the, boys. The right man comes along. Yeah, I just can't be bothered until it's like the right, like the one I'm gonna end up with. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather not waste my time. I was exactly the same. Like she lives locked it in. She's marrying Elliot. <laughs> she said it now. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm here first. If he takes it to Paris, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like literally until I found somebody that I like. I still like three or four months in. I just went. This person is not doing anything for me to like question them in any way. So I just have to be open with the experience and yeah, just like yeah. open up to it. Whereas like literally like I, I still reckon like up until like three months maybe or two months in I was just like I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot but I'm like still so cynical. I was like I'm not going to find somebody like, yeah, that no, I can definitely. be bothered to give all of myself to. Like I just can't be And bothered. I think when it happens it'll happen. You know what yeah. I mean? People struggle to find the person that's meant for them because they go out looking for, for a person because they yeah. need somebody. Whereas like somebody jumping out of nowhere and then just being like, okay, this is the right person. Because, like, you met Marcus out of nowhere, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, but I was still, like, dating and seeing people and yeah, yeah, yeah. open to it. So I guess that's kind of looking for that. Yeah, but, like, it wasn't like you were, like, looking for him on a dating app, I guess. Didn't you, like, meet him on a plane? Yeah. Wasn't that how it... Yeah. See, I like that story. I think that's beautiful. Click's first relationship. Like, I, I literally think... Emma. Like, that's such a good story, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah. I believe in, like, I don't know, true love. You do? Oh, hell yeah. I've, I've got beautiful parents who are still together. Yeah. And yeah, like, you had to, oh, actually, no, you didn't. I was about to say, I have really warped ideas. Oh, really? Of all of that. No, I all my whole family. Either side, both grandparents, I, none of them are together. Oh, really? See, both my grandparents are still alive, both sets. Mm -hmm. Been together for over mm -hmm. 60 years, both of them. Yeah, then I've no. got my parents who have literally, yeah, so I guess I have like a very set idea of like, yeah, a good example. Mm -hmm. Like, But also like broken families still 
I mean, shit happens. Life's yeah. life. I, I still have like a really good family. Like my parents get so along. They, are and they, they split, talk. So they split up. How long? Like oh, well, they split up when I was like fifteen. But like yeah, mm. I feel like a lot of people like rush into things where you're just like oh, by this age I should be married or I should be this. When I was a kid, I wanted to be married with kids at twenty two. Yeah. Like because that... <laughs> where are the kids? <laughs> where they are they? <laughs> They're hiding. Can under. I? <laughs> Honestly, my idea of like life was much different. Like I was like, yeah, by like 18, 19, I would have met the love of my life. And like, yeah. but as I was growing up, my mum was like, no, like that's not how it works. Like yeah. <laughs> this is that's not that easy. So. What about now? What do you think is the age that you'll get married though? I want to have kids before 30, but like, I don't know. And late twenties, like I'm not too yeah. fast. Like yeah. I would want to be with somebody for at least like two, three years before yeah. I like, you know, have, have their children. <laughs> Unless that's like, obviously it's just, I don't know. Every situation is different. Not against people who do that. It works out sometimes, but you're yeah, not necessarily married or just like have kids. I guess that's more what I think when I think of married. I think yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, got to line up a few years with the dating first. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. It's like so many factors that play into that. That uh, it's like so many unknowns. You'd want to find the right. I feel like 30, like as weird as it is, 30 literally is the new 20. Like it, people, people used to get married. My nan was married at 17. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. like maybe yeah, ideally like 30-ish. I don't know. I, Do you I want really kids? Know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I just don't really think about it. That's what I mean. I'm I just like, eh, what happens, it'll happen. Yeah. That's just legit. We're all too busy. No, but like. What about you, Liz? I couldn't imagine myself with kids. Really? Really? You, can you? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know I if I can. I can totally genetics. imagine you as a mum. Oh, yeah. yeah, me and Marcus have great genetics. We're gonna have beautiful kids. Yeah, sorry, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. We're ready now, Marcus. <laughs> Put a baby in her. So this is before or Maybe. after the wedding in two months. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm getting married. What? Before or after I throw my flowers? Marcus, you knew about this, right? <laughs> no, but yeah, you can't really think about that sort of thing if you think by the right. Person, yeah, guess. no, I guess it's like I can't really put a timeline on it until you like, get older than 20. <laughs> yes, please yeah. wait a little bit longer. No, that's what I mean. I could, I know, I could not yeah, see like, anything like that for at least another like six, I know the, seven years. So. Like, the idea of children seven, makes me feel eight. sick, but yeah, one like I know one day I want to be a mother. Like, I, I'm sure of that. I can't imagine what makes you so sure because I just would hate to leave this earth without I guess, well, it sounds really like ego like without a little piece of me behind you mm -hmm. know what I mean like I just love family like I've had, yeah and I've, I've, had, I've, had, a good I've had such too. a good family and I love my family yeah, so much I, family. I don't have a big family that's what I mean I think I could yeah. literally be happy in a, oh my God, a nice family. apartment somewhere it's just you and your sister just hey, is me just and like somebody else that I love like that could feel like enough yeah for me. so is it it's the three of you or do you have Four. another sibling Four. Four. How, how young is that one She's 17. Okay. But I've always had like heaps of cousins. See, and, I'm like, one of four aunties and uncles. Awesome. And like, yeah, I've yeah. loved I've Literally, loved having a big so, family. Literally, such a large family. I'm not like that. Like, I'm the oldest out of everyone in my family. I've got like four cousins, like two from each family. I've and got one 40 sister. on one side. That's what 40. I mean. Counseling It's interesting girls. though. Like, it's all. Yeah. yeah. What hobbies did you guys have as kids? I wanted to be a singer. I did you? Did. Really? Let's hear it. Oh, I'm terrible. Bring it on. Absolutely terrible, which my brothers didn't mind telling me <laughs> every Aww. day. Mum and dad bought me a microphone, an amp, a keyboard. I was like, I'm going to be a musician that sings, blah, 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 blah. No. They did that. Yeah, no, they completely ruined that when entire did you dream. Give it up? Oh, I was only like 10. Yeah. So, like, my voice. Like, yeah. But I did, like, singing lessons. I did all. Okay. I gave it a crack, okay? Gave it a red But I was always, like, creative. So, like, yeah. and then I moved on to when I was, like, 14, I got my first camera. Mm. And that's when I did from 14 to, mm. I guess, 22 mm -hmm. was photography. I didn't really have any. I played soccer for a I feel like couple you would years. have been a sport person. Yeah, I was a sport person. I rode, um, which I loved. Was I did it? a lot of skiing. No, like, <laughs> rode. rode. Oh, I thought you said I thought she rode. Rode. Like, I rode. I thought she did too. I thought she said, like, I was, I I was like, horses in my time. I was, when you said horses, I was like, thank God somebody said it. <laughs> Thank God like someone said road. it. Yeah, okay. Cool. You, where you're competitive, you're just like, yeah. I want to win. Were you no. like the captain? Were you that type of person that would be the captain? Like I a leader, stroke. but also competitive, yeah. but also. Yeah. What yeah. about you, Kath? What's your hobby? Were you the person that yelled stroke? Person? I was, <laughs> I rode stroke seat, so I was up the front. And you yelled stroke? No, I didn't yell stroke. You did <laughs> I did I didn't. <laughs> yeah, what did My you questions do? were literally like, when will Kath get married? What? Penis. <laughs> so, um, what, hey, what, what, bad what, was, what was your what was your hobbies? I'm I'm curious. Hold on. Oh, I'm <laughs> Um, yeah. I like. I feel like I flitted a lot. I was really into swimming. Like I was a really good swimmer as Weird a kid. Life. I was really good at gymnastics. But then when I got to the point of like it Doing being something like, serious, yeah. Yeah, like I like I. I think I did gymnastics when I was like six. Not I was bad, doing like twelve-year-old gymnastics. Oh, and then when I got to that point and it was like it became like a state level or something like that, I just quit. 
Because mm. I'd just be like, oh, this yeah. isn't fun anymore. Too much effort. Like, I was like, oh, cast. no, that's not for me. What hobbies did you have? Tennis and dancing. And I rode a lot. Wrote a lot. And, Ooh. uh... Rode. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone on their horses. What did you ride? <laughs> and, uh, made videos. Yeah, how old were you when you made your first video? 14, 13, something like that. Mm. Brad Stoll's. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, my yeah. gosh. What do you, what do you like about what boys? boys are like? I wish Such I had, a hard question. <laughs> I wish I had the focus on one object, on one thing. Mm. One thing that a guy has. They have like a really incredible focus to focus on one thing. When girls yeah. are kind of like more general, we have yeah. all these sort of things. But mm -hmm. I'd like to have that focus on one thing. Yeah. Sometimes I think they're, that's they're incapable of focusing on anything else. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. you can look at, they look at things with less emotion behind it. As yeah. Well. yeah. Ooh, which, I, Everything I, I do is wrapped up in the like, yeah. Everything I do is got emotion driven. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, hundred percent. Yeah, I like that. That's probably it. I would like to take that. What trait. I like, I'm not giving up. Here, yeah, here's a trait <laughs> that we haven't spoken about. I like it when guys can be a bit vulnerable. I yeah. think that's really nice. Like, mm -hmm. if a guy can, like, actually say what he's feeling mm -hmm. and express that. Oh, no, for I sure. Think that's great. Yeah, definitely. Like, I think sometimes boys can get very, um, I'm not going to talk about feelings, it. Like, whatever. Yeah. It's like, I think yeah. it's, I think it's very attractive when people are, like, in touch with the way that mm. they feel and can express. Weirdly, I think a turning point for me was, like, pretty early on into seeing Elliot, he had that whole thing about, like, that article coming out. Yeah. And I like messaged him and was like, oh, how are you feeling about it? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And then a couple of hours of like, later, he was like, I honestly don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. Like, I know it's a big ask, but like, would you come over? Because I think I'd be able to sleep better Aww. if you were here. And it was only like Aww. a couple of like, maybe six weeks. So I'm two months into seeing him. And like, that was when I was like, that yeah. was cute. What do you think, Kath? Hmm. Yeah, Any further thoughts? Too. But also to be able to read someone else is pretty good. Read someone else's emotions and ask them questions and actually confront them about things. Totally. I think that's like mm. pretty next yeah. level. Because a lot of people are, yeah. Like, unless you yeah. explicitly say something that they can't like really pick up on it. Like, mm. Oh, well, that's a bloody annoying quality about boys. <laughs> that's that a boy quality. And this is something that maybe comes with <laughs> I'm still age. Eating. But like, boys are very literal. Like, yeah. they cannot read between the lines. Oh, they have no idea what no. you're saying. They no. literally have no idea. It's like, no they're idea. trying to drop a hint. They're not being a dick, like, they just have no idea. from Liv. Liv <laughs> wants to go to Paris. She's like, Elliot, she wants to go to Paris. Video. Link this video to him. Elliot, I want to go to Paris. Take me on a damn trip to Paris. Because <laughs> it's like, otherwise, He's... she'll be like, oh, I'd love to go somewhere romantic, like with a boyfriend or something next year, maybe sometime. That would be pretty amazing. And like, you want to think that Elliot's going to see this and be like, oh shit, maybe I should take Liv on a really nice trip to somewhere romantic like she mentioned in that no no it's not gonna happen no, absolutely not happen. absolutely not so Elliot it's like Paris you are, if you want something you've got to be upfront about it don't expect boys yeah. to read through the lines because it's oh, it's not gonna happen away. yeah they will good not. luck to I you I think that's a very common thing yeah they will not a lot they will of boys not pick up on like it. I'm sure that there is boys out there that aren't like that but a no. lot of oh them gosh. seem to be like that that's such a difference between girls and boys yeah. don't you reckon it's yeah. like if you're messaging someone or you're talking to someone I think you'll be like read into we pick up like, we read into it and pick up sentimental things so and all that kind of stuff like, like oh he like i be like, like oh he said hey instead of guy so like you know I <laughs> or uh, like you'll be talking to your friends you'll be like but what about this then he did this blah 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 and it's like no they're not thinking they didn't about. think that deeply about it's it like, literally yeah <laughs> we're, we're we all overthink it then. it's a good thing to note though just to be more direct totally yeah it. that's a good quality yeah. sometimes you don't want to be direct because it feels like you're putting yourself out there too yeah. much but and then you're vulnerable for like you know yeah. your feelings hurt yeah and then I they think... say ha, ha, ha no yeah, this girls, is not a thing girls can <laughs> definitely, girls can so definitely read into things a little too much as well yeah talking to my future self let's do a quick reflection have we had a good year Hell yeah. 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 You said before, Kath, 2019 is our year. But I think 2019 is our year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. This was just like the building blocks. Yes. And then we can... Oh, love that. I'm excited, I'm excited already. Yeah. yeah, I'm tackling it. I'm yeah. ready. If you don't see like a bunch of photos of us traveling to different locations, call us out on it. Yeah. Next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. I want to travel life. heaps in 2019. I want to like see more places, spend more time like working and doing stuff overseas, meet more people. I don't know. I want to be. Yeah, I want to travel. I want to, but I want to work. That's my yeah. kind of thing. I mean, you Everyone's can kind of a. Line. You can fit in your lane. Oh yeah, no, Imagine no. Doing a mukbang in like Greece. No, for sure, no. <laughs> oh, that's what's oh good. God. It's like, yeah. oh my god, Greek food mukbang. I will. Yeah, I want to work. That's how I've got. I've got many goals, many attempts at things I want to do. So. So the main focus is YouTube. 
travel. Yeah. You travel, travel will like, be good, I but be YouTube really, definitely. I want to be really proud of Click and everyone in Click, oh, yeah. and yeah. that's like my big thing mm. for sure. And we're gonna get that big ass boat for the next Christmas party. <laughs> Goes to. <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna have to. Goals. We're gonna have to get a lot more YouTubers. If we... <laughs> what about you, Kat? Um, I'm on something. I think something big is gonna happen to Click that we're gonna make too. Like when I think of Click, I don't think of just daily videos. I think of like, what could we make like a big thing? Like yeah, a hundred percent. I was thinking about that. Imagine being like, if we were an anime or something like, you know, an anime, yeah. and then we're just doing voiceovers for that, that sort of thing, or like a series of yeah, yeah not just like sort of the thing. videos, just like something yeah. much on a much larger scale. Yeah, which has a story which I think is like based on our characters. Obviously, sort of the thing. aim for you guys as well. It's like yeah, you don't 100%. want to just be this. There's no, so yeah. many more plans, but you have so to obviously start with this. Because there's so much more that could be done in a group. Oh, so for sure, for much. sure. And we're so used to all being solo, it'd be cool to see if we really all put ourselves yeah. into it a, a bit more. Yeah. In 2019, that's, and that's where we gotta get we got to get the boys on the follow through. Yeah, because it's hard because we've all been focused on our channel for so many years yeah. and it's worked out that way and we think it's the yeah. the formula the, to the end success. of the world. That's totally yeah. our, but to see big results, you got to try new things. you always got to mm. be willing to put yeah. yourself out there more. So Yeah, yeah man. Bed. What about you, Liv? Um, I have a lot She's of going to be pregnant. Oh, God. I really hope not. Um, oh, please don't flash forward to me. Yeah, yeah pregnant. Um, <laughs> She's like, I'm six months Ooh. pregnant. Um, <laughs> in a had... year, if one of us is pregnant, this would be really funny. Oh, my gosh. I, I can really hope. Not... I, can, I think I can say for all of us yeah. that we really hope that that is not yeah. what's happening. Not on the cards. I will take big fat no for me. <laughs> Both of you married. No, she's Joint wedding. Oh uh, yeah, my golf like for me, I feel like twenty twenty is gonna be like my huge year, okay. and twenty nineteen is like my the growing working, working it, yeah, yeah. year. Hmm. Just because like this is the year that I finally made my mind up on things that I want to do, and you got to give it time. Started the ball rolling, to... so like I can't just expect it to all formulate in one year. But next year, I want to be like a big year of personal growth. Like I want to stop being as perfectionist, as anxious, and just to do things. Like for me as well, like I would like to branch out and do different things. Mm. Like as a, a creative person, like I do Ooh, love that. Miss excited to see being creative. Ooh, step outside yeah. your comfort zone. Yeah, step yeah, outside like my comfort zone a lot more. Um, random goal would be talking to camera. It's so awkward for me, but I feel like it's something I like that I'm really. Do, need I feel to like you're doing to. fine. You're literally doing fine. Yeah. Trust me. My first video with Lennon, I was like. Ah. <laughs> Even yeah. my first video by myself trying to talk to a camera, it was like yeah. super. Like, you guys can still see I get nervous when I'm doing intros and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Still makes me nervous, like having that people hearing you say it and also like talking to a camera can be daunting when mm. no one's looking. Yeah. Literally, I've done even videos by myself and I'm like. Like, I just yeah. can't start. I'm like. Eh. Yeah. But that yeah. all comes with just keep practicing. Literally, you get more and more confident. Look at how loud and annoying I am now. Mm. It's true. Just <laughs> it's <her>. true. <laughs> no, I'm she's kidding. really annoying. <laughs> oh, I'm excited then. So many goals. Yeah. Oh, this has been fun. I am very full. Oh, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you go follow the girls. I'm sure you already do, but you know, give them some love and subscribe to the channel, please, please <laughs> subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> In the item shop. Ha ha ha! Code Tanner Ecot in the Code item shop. Code Tanner Ecot in the, in the up, item shop. In I'm totally putting shop. Code Tanner. Code Tanner. Code Tanner. Code Loser Fruit. Ooh, all, all Code Loser Fruit.